This video provides an overview of AWS Code Deploy. AWS Code Deploy is a service that automates application deployments to Amazon EC2 instances. You can use AWS Code Deploy to automate deployments, eliminate the need for error prone manual operations, and maximize application availability. We'll go over some of the important concepts and then go through a sample deployment using the Code Deploy console. To use AWS Code Deploy, you start by creating an application. An application consists of different components. A revision is a specific version of deployable content such as source code, post build artifacts, web pages, and executable files. A revision can be stored in GitHub or an Amazon S3 bucket. A deployment group is a set of instances associated with the application that you target for a deployment. You can add instances to a deployment group by specifying a tag and or an auto-scaling group name. A deployment configuration is a constraint that determines how a deployment progresses through a deployment group. In order to do a deployment, you specify these three parameters, which answers the questions, what, where, and how to deploy. You may be thinking, how do you specify what files to copy and what deployment scripts to execute? To do this, you include a code deploy specific configuration file in your revision. This configuration file is a YAML file called the app spec. The file section specifies what files and folders from your revision go to what destination folder on each instance. The hook section specifies the location of the scripts to run during each phase of the deployment. The phases are called lifecycle events. Now, let's walk through a sample deployment. I have already logged into the AWS Management Console and I'm in the Code Deploy Console. Let's click on Get Started Now. You can choose between a sample deployment and a custom deployment. Let's choose the sample deployment. If you don't have any EC2 instances configured to use with Code Deploy, you can launch new EC2 instances for a sample deployment. Otherwise, you can choose to skip this step. Before clicking on Launch Instances, make sure that the IAM user that you're logged in as has the required permissions. To find the required permissions, click on the question mark icon and go over to the prerequisites section of the documentation. Now, let's click on Launch Instances. What Code Deploy is doing now is using CloudFormation to create three Amazon EC2 instances tagged with the key, name, and value, Code Deploy Demo. It will also install the Code Deploy agent and assign the appropriate IAM instance profile. If you want, you can track the detail progress in the status column in the CloudFormation console. It will take a few minutes for the CloudFormation stack creation to complete. The CloudFormation stack is now complete. Remember to go to the CloudFormation console and delete the stack after you're done with the sample deployment. Now that we have our EC2 instances configured and ready, let's start with Code Deploy. First, create an application. Let's choose the Linux sample. This sample installs Apache and adds a simple index.html file. I'm going to call this deployment group development. For example, you may add a staging deployment group and a production deployment group. You can use EC2 tags and or auto-scaling groups to identify the target EC2 instances. In this case, the EC2 tag key and value are already filled in. Verify that Code Deploy can detect all three EC2 instances. A service role is an IAM role that lets Code Deploy interact on your behalf with other AWS services, such as Amazon EC2 and auto-scaling. You can use an existing role with the appropriate permissions or create a new one. Let's create a new role. In this case, you can preview the policy before clicking Next Step. Let's choose to deploy to one EC2 instance at a time. There are three system-defined deployment configurations, and you can optionally choose to create a custom one. Let's review the deployment now. We have specified what, how, and where to deploy. Click on Deploy Now. You can track your deployment in the Deployments page, stop the deployment if necessary, and see the overall status of your deployment. You can click on View All Instances to see the status of each EC2 instance, and can click on any of the EC2 instances to see their lifecycle events and status. If there was an error, you'll be able to view the logs without having to log in to each instance. Let's check if the deployment has completed. We will grab the public DNS of one of the three instances from the EC2 console and point our browser to it. The page loads, which demonstrates that we have a successful deployment. Thank you for watching this video. Log in to the Code Deploy console at console.aws.amazon.com slash code deploy. For more information on Code Deploy, visit aws.amazon.com slash code deploy.